Um, so thank you so much for being here today for our first session of Move with Shelley, or I guess second edition, so it's not really the first time we're doing it. Um, so uh, just a few housekeeping things before we get started. Um, so my name is Shelley, and uh, I am a physiotherapist, and I am also a staff member at Parkinson Society BC. Um, so it's uh, one of the first times we're doing exercise webinars live, just because it's a new platform, as you'll probably notice, that we're using. Um, so if anybody has any comments or suggestions or any feedback about our classes, we would love to hear from you. So I did put at the very top of the chat box, which should be on your right hand side with our email. So we've got the info at parkinson.bc.ca email. Um, or my personal one, which is the syu at parkinson.bc.ca. Um, so if you have any comments or feedback, you can feel free to send us an email at the end of the class. We would love to hear from you. Um, equally, if you wanted to say anything during the class, you can go ahead and type in the chat box. Um, I know a couple of people have been trying to use the raise hand function, which works fine as well. Um, but the only issue with the raise hand function is that we would have to individually enable everybody's microphone. So it is a little bit slower. So um, whenever possible, if you can write in the chat box instead, that would be great. And we do have Alana Dillon, who is my lovely colleague from Parkinson Society BC, who is going to be monitoring the chat box today. So if you had any questions or comments, you can go ahead and write in the chat box. Um, I won't be able to read it because I'll be up and exercising with you guys, but Alana will be able to help you um, answer any questions or to just respond to your comments. Great, so thank you for joining us. Today's class um, is our standing or supported standing class. So you could either be someone who is standing without holding on to anything, or if you're somebody who needs a walking aid, like a stick or a walker, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, the class is, I suppose it, it, it's what you make it and we will adapt as we go along. Um, if you're somebody who finds the standing exercises a little bit more challenging and you prefer to do exercises in sitting, you can join the Thursday class at 3 p.m., which is a fully seated class. So I'm hoping that having these two different levels just helps target the classes a little bit better so um, everybody gets a good workout overall. Um, okay, so uh, let's get started then. So hopefully everybody can hear me and hopefully you can all see me. Um, if you can't, try turning up the volume button on the computer. I know it sounds um, uh, pretty obvious, but sometimes we do run into problems where um, for some reason, when you log onto the platform, the volume is um, brought way down. It's almost like an automatic thing as you uh, log onto the webinar platform. So just make sure you have your volume up so you can hear me. Um, I am pretty loud anyway, so I think that probably shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Um, okay, so let's get started. So I've just set up in my living room. Um, hopefully the stuff behind me is not too distracting. Um, so hopefully you can all see me. Okay, we're gonna start in standing. So again, you can either hold on to your walker or sticks if you like, or nothing if you're standing without holding on to anything. And we're just gonna start by marching on the spot. So. We're just gonna start by lifting the knees up nice and high. So we're not going really quick, we're not really going slow. It's sort of like a comfortable pace, if you will. I'm just, we're just marching. We're just getting our feet moving on the spot and you can let your arms swing as they will in whatever direction, position feels comfortable or natural to you. We're just gonna start by getting the legs up just so we're used to moving. Good, excellent. Okay, good, we're gonna keep marching. We're just gonna swing the arms a little bit bigger this time. So almost imagine you're skipping down the road or you're um, prancing along. You're just letting the arms go nice and loose, letting them swing wherever they want to, trying to keep the opposite arm to leg as much as possible. Good, and now we're just gonna add in a little bit of a pattern for our legs. As we're marching, we're gonna go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So nothing, nothing complex. We're just keeping going with our marching, except we're bringing the leg out, out, 
in, in. Just getting used to starting to transfer our weights a little bit before we get started with our exercise class. Keeping those arms nice and loose. Notice how as I'm swinging my arms, my truck is nice and loose. I'm not really trying to hold on to anything. I'm just letting the arms sort of flop as they will. Excellent, keep going. That's it. Good, and we're gonna lift the legs a little bit higher this time, still doing our out, out, and in, in. But we're just going to exaggerate the hip lift, the knee up movement a little bit more. That's it. That's it, good. Keep it going. Good, let's do one more. Good, this time we're going to kick our leg forward, and as we kick our legs forward, we're gonna bring both hands to the hip of the side that we're kicking. So a nice gentle rotation of the upper body as you're kicking the leg. So for this, again, for anything that we do in the class, it's not necessarily about speed. Um, although I suppose we will be speeding some things up, but I want you to mostly concentrate on the quality of the movement during the class, especially if you're somebody who finds anything that we do a little bit too quick. You can always slow things down as you would like, as long as you're keeping the quality going. So really rotating that body as you're gently kicking the leg forward. Good. Keep going, we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, this time we're gonna step out to the side, open the arms, come back in. Step out to the side, open the arms, come back in. So we're not really doing anything that's too big per se. You're just trying to step out to the side and open the arms so we're not we're not trying to be as low as we can. We're not trying to step out as far as we can. We just want to get the heart pumping a little bit and just get the arms and legs moving a bit before we get to the main exercises we're gonna be doing. So try to see if with every repetition, you can just make the movement a little bit bigger than the last. So if, again, this is too quick, don't worry, slow it down, it's absolutely fine. And if you're someone holding on to a walker or sticks, of course, you can hold on and just do the legs, same thing, as long as we're not tipping over on our walker as we're doing that. Good, opening up the chest as much as you can, getting those arms going, that's it, good. Keep going, let's do six more. Five, four, three, two, last one, one, good. Okay, this time, feet hip width apart, planted firmly into the floor. We're just gonna do some nice, gentle squats to start with. So we're bringing the arms forward and down. So if I go sideways, you are sticking your bottom back, almost like you're trying to sit in a chair or hover over a really gross public toilet seat. <laughs> That's it, so you're just sending the hips back. Gently bring the arms up. We're not really trying to be as low as we can per se. We're not clenching anything per se. We're just trying to, I'm gonna face forward again. We're just trying to get the legs Arms, joints everywhere, and a little bit warmer before we start. That's it. Good, keep going. See if we can do four more. Three, two, one. Good, from here, we're gonna bring one arm up, one arm down, so they're not touching, they're floating on top of each other, parallel, like equal signs. We're gonna squat and we're gonna pulse. We're gonna go four, three, two, one, and up. Good, so you're alternating arms. When you come up, push those hips forward again. We go four, three, two, one, push those hips forward again. Down, go four, three, 
two, one, push the hips, again, down, four, three, two, one, push the hips, last one, down, go, four, three, two, one, push the hips, good, from here, we're going to just lightly tap our heels forward. So notice when I'm doing this with my legs, tapping the heels forward, I'm not stepping. So I'm not stepping on the leg like this, but we're tapping. So it's almost like you want to imagine there's eggshells underneath your heels and you're just tapping. We're not trying to crush the eggs, eggshells. We're not stepping. We're not really putting any weight on those heels. We're just lightly tapping them on the floor, lifting them off again. Almost like the ground is very hot and you're just lifting up like that. Good. We're going to add the arms. As we're doing this, we're going to push the arms forward. So remember, you're not stepping forward on that leg. You're just tapping. So you're staying balanced. You're keeping your weight on that standing leg. You're just tapping that heel forward. Good. And as you're doing this with your arms, you want to really strain the arms, spread those fingers, and I'm pulling back. So again, if you're using your walker, of course, you might not be able to do the arms. You can hold on and just tap. Or if you want, you could, you can do one arm at a time if you like, or you can do both arms. So it's almost like your arms and legs are moving out together, coming in together. Good, let's do four more. Three, two, one, this time, drop the arms, we're tapping. Tapping our toes to the side, tapping like that, okay? So again, we're not stepping, so this is not what we want. We want tap, 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 that's it. Tap, we're gonna add the arms, tap, tap, tap. Good, so notice how my weight stays right in the middle the whole time. So I'm not actually deviating very much from that middle point and that's what you want. You wanna be nice and steady in the middle, opening up those arms, spreading those fingers nice and wide, just tapping, tapping. Tapping, that's it. So not stepping, just tapping. Really open the chest, open the chest, open the chest, good. Let's do four, three, two, one. Good, this time you're gonna tap your toes behind. You're just tapping your toes behind. Like that, nice and light. So remember we're not, we're not stepping, right? You're keeping your body where it is. So imagine if I covered your legs with a blanket, I shouldn't be able to tell that you are transferring weights or moving at all because that's how still you are on top. So we're just tapping, 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 staying the same height. Good, that's it, okay? Adding the arms, we're gonna bend the elbows, hands to the shoulder, and you're gonna straighten the arms like that. That's it. So again, if you're holding onto a walker, just do the legs, or you can do one arm at a time if you'd like. And you can always slow it down if it feels like it's just a little bit too quick. That's it. So just think about tapping those toes, very lightly tapping those toes at the back here, just tapping. Good, let's go four, three, Two, one, good. Stand with the legs nice to wide, arms straight in a T shape. So we're always gonna come back to the T shape. We're gonna use our arms, we're gonna bring it to the opposite knee. So the outside of the opposite knee, you're just twisting the body, coming back up to a T shape, twisting the body, coming up to a T shape. So if you're holding on to a walker, you can try to see if you can twist the body making sure you're threading the arms through to the opposite knee so it's almost like you're reaching for the outside of the opposite knee nice twist in the body and of course if you are someone who 
often gets dizzy. Please be careful with the tip down. You can try to keep your head up if you like. If you want to just do a little bit of a twist or you can go to the hip if you don't want to go that low. If you can, you can even try going for your ankles. Whatever works for you, the class is what you make it. So whatever feels more challenging, but comfortable, but doable for you is what you're aiming for. Making sure we're coming back to the T shape, right? So we're not, you know, we're not like this. We're not staying low. You want to come back to the T shape every time. Come back to the T shape every time. Although I suppose it's kind of more like an X, um, but I mean T shape with the arms. That's it. Let's do a couple more here. Good. Good. And rest. Okay. So we're going to do our exercise now. So we have five exercises and we're doing two minutes each exercise and we're going to go for two rounds. So not two rounds in one go. We're going to do two minutes each exercise, go through the whole five exercise, um, and then we're going to redo it again. So um, the first exercise, we're going to start in standing. I'm going to show you nice and slow. We're going to lunge forward or step like this, clasp your hands together, and you're gonna draw a big figure of eight and step back like that. And then you lunge again and you draw a big figure of eight and step back. So if I go to the side, the lunges, it's, you're stepping and it's almost like you're trying to send that back knee to the ground, like you're kneeling down a little bit. We want to make sure we're not leaning like this. You want to imagine you're going up and down like an elevator. It's that up and down like an elevator kind of position. If it's really difficult for you to do that, don't worry. Just do a step. That's fine as well. As long as you're transferring your weight to that front leg, you can do a step and do the same thing. Absolutely fine. Or if you're holding on to a walker, step with one arm. Absolutely fine as well. Okay? So that's the movement. We're going to do two minutes on the clock. Are we ready? Okay? Clasp those hands together. Three, two, one, and go. Big swing of the arms. Good. So imagine here you have no elbow joint. So you gotta use the entire arm to do that. You wanna try to make the movement as big as you can. It's almost like a little bit of a rowing movement. It's like you're rowing from side to side. Stepping out in figure eight, step back in. So making sure as we're stepping back in, we want to avoid this kind of shuffling movement. You want to try to be very accurate and very, um, very sure where you're placing your feet. You want a big push, step back, step forward, big figure of eight with the arms, step back, good. Make sure we're still doing our Elevate our body, right? Keeping ourselves nice and tall. Good, you got 60 seconds left. You're almost done. That's it, keep going. Big figure eight with the arms, big push. Step forward, big figure of eight with the arms, as big as you can. Imagine that space in front of you is a blank canvas, and you're really drawing us big as you can. Good. You can try getting lower if you feel very confident. Good. Keep going. You got 15 seconds. You're almost there. Drawing as big as you can. See how much you can do for the last 10 seconds. How low can you get? That's it. How low can you get for the last 10 seconds? Good. One more. As low as you can, as big as you can, and rest. Good. That was two minutes. Awesome job, everybody. Hopefully you're okay so far. Have a little bit of a breather if you like. I'm going to show you the next one. So 
Next one, our legs are gonna be nice and wide, about hip width apart, uh, well, a little bit more. You're gonna put one hand on your hip. Now you're gonna imagine you got a pouch on the outside of your leg, and it's filled with confetti. So you're gonna open the hand and you're gonna reach into that pouch of confetti. You're gonna grab hold of the confetti, you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna throw it up into the air on a bit of a diagonal. So it looks like this. You're reaching, grab, and you're throwing. So as you're throwing your hand, so you're reaching, opening the hand, grabbing, and then as you're throwing, you're opening the hand. So you're throwing. So imagine you're tossing it in the air, that kind of feeling. On that diagonal, you really want to see the confetti float down, really feel those fingers get involved. Okay, so let's do one minute on one side, and then we'll do one minute on the other. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> okay, three, two, one, and go. Reach into the confetti pouch and throw as big as you can. Oops, sorry, we're doing the same side. And throw. So you're really trying to have that rotation and you're trying to throw as hard as you can. See how far up in the air you can throw that confetti. So it's not about how quick you're doing, but it's more about how much crisp, sharp movement can you do as you're throwing it on a diagonal. So you can bend your knees here and straighten the knees as you throw if you like, or if the bending is a little bit too difficult, you can reach from the hips. But I really wanna see that reach. Imagine someone's pulling your arm, you're trying to throw this darn confetti across this football field. So you've got to really throw as hard as you can. Really reach those fingers in. Open those fingers to throw. That's it. Keep going. One more. Good. And switch sides. Other side, you're reaching. Grab. Throw. That's it. Reach. Grab. Throw. So you want to see how much effort you can muster on the throw. So of course, I understand that we're not actually holding on to anything, but you really want to imagine throwing that confetti into the air as hard as you can, as high as you can, aiming for 80% of your maximum effort in your throw. That's it, good. You're bending those knees though, right? To throw, good. Well done, you're almost there. You got 20 seconds left. And throw, good, again, grab, rotate to throw. That's it, grab, rotate to throw. Really feel that movement of the throw. That twist, the reach of the body and rest. Good, excellent. Okay, next we're gonna do our sumo squats. So, we start with our legs together, and or as close as you're comfortable doing. From here, arms nice and straight. So we're thinking about that sumo wrestler kind of stance. So the movement is you're stepping out. So you're 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 stepping out into that sumo sumo stance, and your arms are circling and coming down on your legs. And then from here, same leg comes back in. Stop. So you want to really think the effort effort on the stomp. So we're not just going like this, right? That's very different. You want to really think you're heavy, heavy, heavy. You want to thump down onto the floor, onto those legs, and then thump back in. Nice and heavy and back in, okay? Hands and fists like this. So I'm not, I'm not bending the arms. I'm keeping them straight. And you're thumping down, almost like you're banging on a tabletop. Okay, okay, here we go. Legs together to start with. Three, two, one, and go. Thump, good, and in. As sharp as you can, as effortful as you can. How much stomp can you make? How much noise can you make? That's it. Nice and effortful. I want to see the effort. You want to make your downstairs neighbor, if you have any, hate you. <laughs> That's it. Keep going. And as you're doing the out, see if you can go nice and wide. 
Lift the leg as high as you can. Really lift and thump down on the floor. It's about how big you can make your movement and how effortful can you go with the arms nice and sharp. 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 That's it. You got it. Keep going. Almost there. Keep going. 45 seconds. I know you're tired. Keep going. Nice and sharp. Sharp. Lift the leg. Sharp. Sharp. As high as you can. Lift. Lift. Keep going. Lift. Lift. Make sure you're swinging the arm down. So again, if you're using your walker, same thing. I want to hear the leg. We can do one arm at a time if you like. But it's like downwards effort, downwards effort, downwards effort, down. That's it. Well done. Good. Almost there. Good. One more. Good. And relax. Excellent. Good. Hopefully you're all doing okay so far. Okay. Next one, we're going to go from a big shape um, with your arms sort of in a Y shape. Your legs are going to be about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider if you like. From here, don't do it yet, you can just watch me. From here, you're going to keep your body nice and tall. So really think about maintaining the same height. And you're just going to twist to the outside of the knee and twist back. Twist, twist back. And as we're doing that, we want to make sure we're not going like this, right? You want to keep that same height. So think about how tall you are right now in this position. Keep that same height, twist. So imagine you're balancing a book on your head. As you're turning, the book should not be falling off. It should stay on your head at the same level. You're not getting shorter, you're not getting taller, okay? Two minutes. Are we ready? Get into the position. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Twist. Down. Twist. Hold your balance. Down. Nice and sharp. Hold. Sharp. Hold. That's it. Sharp. Hold. Sharp. Hold. Nice and sharp. That's it. Nice and crisp with the movement. Good. That's it. Keep going. Crisp. That's it. Crisp. So I don't want to see this. It's not about speed per se, but I, you almost want to imagine someone's taking a photo of you and they're just snapping, snapping away. And you want to try to make sure all the pictures they take of you is either in this position or this position. So you don't want to see that, that transition in between. So you want sharp, hold, sharp, hold. Stay the same height, sharp, hold, sharp, hold. That's it. Shoulders away from the ears, right? Sharp. Hold. Sharp. Hold. 45 seconds. You can do it. That's it. Coming back into the X the whole time. So if you're using your walker, like that. Or like that. That's fine as well. As long as you're practicing transferring the weight and being nice and sharp, sharp, as big, as big as you can move. Think 80% of your effort, whatever that means to you, whether that's standing a little bit taller, clenching those leg muscles a little bit tighter, or reaching those arms a little bit wider. 80% of your effort and relax. Excellent. Okay. 
Next one, have a look at me. You can have your rest. Have a look at me. We're going to go step back in. So that's the legs. Step back in. So if I turn sideways, you can either step like this or lunge position. Whatever you feel more comfortable doing, but it's got to challenge you. So I don't want to see this. You want to try to step as wide as you can or, or lunge. And as you're doing that, your arms are going to do this. They're going to push, spreading the pump nice and wide. And then you're going to grab and pull as hard as you can. So you're pushing as hard as you can. You're pulling as hard as you can. Really want to feel that movement in the arms like that. Okay, so the movement is as you're stepping back, you're going push. And as you're stepping in, pull, push, pull. So I really, I really want to see the effort of the push, hold, pull, hold. So I don't want to see this or, or like this with the fingers. You want to really spread those fingers, really imagining you're actually pushing something and you're actually pulling something back in. That nice, sharp, crisp quality. Okay, ready? Two minutes, you can do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Push, hold, pull. That's it, as effortful as you can. Really feel those fingers spreading as if you're actually trying to push something away from you and then pull something towards you. That's it. Good, nice effort. Keep going. Effort. Really lift the legs nice and high. Good. I want to see that effort in the body. So think 80% of your maximum effort. Really push. That's it. Pull. Push. Pull. Keep going. Lift the legs nice and high. Good. That's it. So you'll find a lot of these exercises we're doing is about weight shifting and stepping because these are the things that are going to help you with your balance and your reaction to be able to catch yourself as you're having a little wobble. So you really want to make sure the movement here is nice and crisp. 45 seconds and pull. Keep going. Push. Pull, push, pull as hard as you can. Sharp, 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 sharp. Even more, sharp, that's it. Sharp, keep going. Almost there, almost there. 20 seconds. Pull, keep going. Push, pull, that's it. Push, pull, 15 seconds. Almost there, almost there. Keep going a little bit more. See if you can stretch just a little bit more, just a little bit more effort for the last four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Anybody tired yet? <laughs> Good job. Okay, so have a little rest if you need to. Our next exercise is, um, well, we're starting all over again. So that was our uh, first five exercise and we were doing that two minutes each. We're going to redo everything from the beginning. So first exercise again was a lunge and you're doing that big figure of eight. So don't do it with me yet. Just have a rest. Have a look at me. We're doing that big figure of eight. Like that as we're stepping. Big figure of eight. And if I go from the side, when you're doing the step, you don't have to do a full lunge. You can do a step forward if you like, or a bigger step forward if you like, or you can do a full lunge if you like. It's entirely up to you, as long as you're thinking big, figure of eight with the arms. So think blank canvas in front of you, okay? Are we ready? 
two minutes, three, two, one, and go, lunge, go big, bigger, big, as big as you can, and step, good, again, step forward, big, figure, big, as big as you can, again, that's it, a big figure of eight. Good. So you want to move so big that you almost feel like you're going to fall off balance, but not quite. So you're moving that big figure of eight as big as you can. Blank canvas in front of you. That's it. Keep going. That's it. You got it. Well done. You got a minute and 10 seconds left. You can do it. Breathe. If you need to take a couple of seconds to have a breather, have a couple of seconds. Absolutely fine. We want to try to get back into it. Get the heart pumping as much as we can. Go. That's a big figure of eight. Good. Keep going. 50 seconds. Big figure of eight. Keep going. Big step. Big figure of eight. In. Again. Big step. Big figure of eight, that's it, you're almost there. 40 seconds, that's it, good. Keep going, big figure of eight, that's it, good, keep going. 30 seconds, almost like you're rowing a boat, drawing that side to side line, as big as you can, a big figure of eight. Remember, no bending of the elbows. Try to keep the elbows straight. 15 seconds. You're almost there. Almost there. Breathe. Good. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Okay. So have your rest. Next exercise, which we've already done, is our confetti throw. So imagine that pouch on either side of your legs. You're choosing one hand to do first. We're gonna do 60 seconds on each one. You're reaching into the pouch with the fingers open. Grab, and you're gonna throw, right? And as you're doing that, you can either keep the legs straight or you can squat down. Imagine you're reaching to the outside of your calf and throw. So I really wanna see that opening, that opening of the hand. Okay, one minute each side. You can choose what side you wanna do, it's entirely up to you. Okay, good job everyone, you can do it, you can do it. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Reach, grab, and throw as hard as you can. Really twist that body, throw. So think you're throwing across a football field as hard as you can. Think 80% of your throw, whatever that means to you. Really work on that rotation in the body and your ability to stay balanced over your legs, even as you're doing this rotation that's really equitable and really sharp in motion. That's it, good. Keep going, really imagine grabbing that confetti around your fingers and throw as hard as you can. That's it, keep going, keep going. You're almost a minute in. Keep going, that's it, well done. Grab and throw. Five seconds, grab and throw. Really twist the body as effortfully as you can. Good, other side. We go grab, throw. Again, grab, throw as effortful as you can. Really grab around the fingers and open the hand to throw. Really feel a grab and the throw. So you want this to be really effortful. You should all be sweating from this. If you're not, bend more. Open those legs wider. Reach those arms more, throw with more effort. That's it, you can do it. Almost there, almost there. 20 seconds. That's it, well done. And throw, keep going. Throw, that's it, well done. 10 seconds left. As much effort as you can muster for the last couple of seconds. Three, 
two, one, and relax. Excellent, good. Well done, everybody. Our next one is our sumo squats. So remember, we're starting with the legs either together or maybe a little bit further apart. And you're gonna think nice, bulky, hinge arms. And you're gonna step out as hard as you can and go bang down on your feet, on your arms, and you're coming back in. So you're thinking about lifting that leg and go. So as the name implies, think sumo. Think sumo lunge or squat, that's it. So if you are using a walker, you can do this, a step or a lunge out to the side while holding on to the walker or sticks. Or if you would like, you can do one arm open, one arm in, one arm open, one arm in. So I want to see the, the effort, okay? Okay, two minutes. Ready? Three, two, one, and go open. That's it. In. Open thumb. In. That's it. As hard as you can. Think heavy. 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 Lift the legs. Heavy. Heavy. Lift the legs as hard as you can. So remember, not about speed, about effort. Effort. So you can slow it down if you like. But I want to see you lift the legs. Effort the whole time. That's it. Well done. Keep going. Effort. That's it. In. Effort. In. Effort. Think heavy limbs, heavy arms, heavy legs. Moving as big as you can. 60 seconds. Almost there, you can do it. Big, and in, lift the knees high. That's it, effort. I wanna hear your feet. That's it, go. And in, keep going, go. And in, almost there, 45 seconds. You can do it, you can do it. Open, in, almost there, open. In, 25 seconds, open. In, almost there, breathe, open. In, effort, lift the legs, open. In, again, open. And in, keep going, open. In, 10 seconds, open. In, keep going, open. In, keep going. Almost there, one more, open. In and relax. Excellent. Get some water if you need or walk around the room if you like, whatever you can to get yourself to relax a tiny bit before our next one. So next exercise, arms wide in a Y shape uh, or a Y shape. Legs a little bit wider than hip width apart. From here, you're thinking about leading the movement with your breastbone, so you're thinking sharp, hold, sharp, hold, sharp, hold, sharp, hold. So remember, imagine if I was taking pictures of you and I was snapping away like a paparazzi. You want to make sure all the pictures I take of you are either here or here, never in, in between any of these. So that's how sharp, sharp, sharp you want to make those movements, right? If you're holding on to a walker, same thing. You're gonna think from here, think sharp, down, sharp, down. So you still want that twist in the body. You're thinking about that twist and you're still thinking sharp. It's almost like robotic, if you will. You're thinking that sharp, robotic kind of position, that crispness. Okay, are we ready? Two minutes, you can do it. You're almost there, you're almost done. We got this exercise, one more in the cool down. You're almost there. Reaching those arms away, right? So we're not like this. Reaching, extending. Reach the opposite end of the ceiling. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Sharp, hold. Sharp, hold. That's it. Sharp, hold. Sharp, hold. Good. So think of sharp. 
as you can, as sharp as you can. So this is practicing our weight shift and then being able to stand and be balanced on top of the leg that we shift to. That's it, keep going. That's it, bend and up, keep going, bend and up, keep going, bend and up, that's it, bend. Good, think sharp, that's it, sharp. I want to see that abrupt stop every time. So stop, 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 60 seconds, stop, stop. I want to see that sharp, abrupt movement. Good, keep going. That's it, You're, you can do it, you can do it. 45 seconds. Are your arms still wide or the fingers? Still wide? Are you still breathing? Good, think sharp. Sharp, nice and abrupt. Movement, sharp. Movement, 30 seconds. You can do it, sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Keep going, open those fingers. Make sure you're coming back to this position. Every time, 10 seconds. Almost there. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent, everybody. Okay. Our final exercise before cool down is this one. We're stepping back and in. Remember this one? And in. So we're just doing some lunges. So if I turn sideways, you're either stepping like this or you're lunging like this. So it's almost like you're sending the back knee to the floor and you wanna make sure we're not like this with the upper body as we're doing it, right? You wanna stay nice and tall. Imagine balancing that book on your head and you're going up and down like an elevator. So we're not tipping, we're going up and down and up like an elevator, down and up, or stepping. Even as you're stepping, try to stay the same height. Don't let yourself tip forward as you step, okay? And the arms go push, open the hands, pull, again, push, pull. So you wanna really feel the effort. I wanna actually feel that you've got something around you that you're pushing and pulling, okay? Okay, two minutes. Last two minutes in the cool down. You can do it, you can do it. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Push. Spread the fingers. Pull. Effort pull. Push. Pull. Make sure you lift the legs nice and high. That's it. Lift the legs nice and high each time. Push. And stop. Push. Stop. Keep going. Effort. That's it. A much stretch as you can muster in your arms. Good. I think 80% effort the whole time. Keep going. That's it. Pull. Push. Pull. Stepping back. Push. Pull. Think about balancing that book on the head. Good. Balancing that book on the head. Push, pull as much effort as you can muster. If you're holding on to something, same thing. Lift, 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 lift. Good, you got 50 seconds. As much energy as you can for the lift. Good, keep going. That's good. Push, pull. Push, pull, push, pull, almost there, push, pull, 30 seconds, push, pull, push, pull, almost there, push, pull. You can slow this down if you need, so it can be at your own speed, but you're trying to do whatever challenges you, sure. 
Open those fingers. And in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're just going to march. Let the arms swing. You can march in whatever speed feel comfortable for you. So it's not about how fast you're marching or how slow, just something that's comfortable for you. Good. Let the arms swing as you're marching. That's it. Good. You guys still breathing? <laughs> Good. That's it. Good. You got it. Okay. And we're just gonna let the arms come down and we're gonna gently bring one leg forward. We're gonna bend, so like this. One leg forward, bend with the other leg. You're hinging forward uh, along your hips to feel that stretch in the back of the thigh. Or if you're holding onto a walker, same thing. Stick the leg forward, bend forwards into the walker. Try not to collapse, but you wanna keep yourself Nice and long. Good. Now we're going to change sides. That's it. Bending. Think about feeling that stretch of the back of the leg. Body nice and straight, folding at the hips. Good. One more each side. Good. One more the other side. Okay, so now we're going to bring our legs a little bit wider apart and we're just going to gently bend into one leg. So from here, your body again should be nice and straight. You're bending and hinging forward at the hips just ever so slightly so you can get that inner thigh stretch. If you're holding on to the walker, same thing, wider with the legs. Bend into one side, bend into one side, and then you're hinging forward at the hips a little bit. That's it. And the other side, good. So nice gentle stretches here. We're not really tensing anything per se. We're just bringing our bodies into this position to Feel the stretch. We're not, we're not getting as low as we can or stretching as much as we can. We're just letting the body cool down a little bit. Okay, other side. Excellent. And then one more on the other side. Good. Okay, this time you're going to find a wall to hold on to. And you're going to see if you can... Hold on to the back of your leg to stretch your thigh, or if you don't, you're holding on to something. If you have like a chair or something, maybe not quite this high, you can stick your leg, pretend this is a chair, you can put your leg on a chair like this, and you're holding on, as long as our knee is not coming forward. You want the knee to be either the same level, or the stretched knee is going back a little bit further like this. Holding onto the walker or the wall, depending on what you have, just so you can feel that stretch. And as we're doing this, we want to make sure we're not bending forward at the hips because you won't feel that very much. You want to push the hips forward so you should feel a little bit of a stretch at the front of the hips. Good, and we're going to switch legs. So again, either on a chair like this or holding on, Grabbing your foot, whatever works for you, as long as you're trying to make that front of the hip nice and long. Good. Okay, and rest. Okay, from here, we're just going to stand and we're going to cross the arms in front, reach up and over and open, almost like you're taking a t-shirt off, so you're grabbing across and open. That's it. So you're not actually taking a t-shirt off, but you're just trying to do the movement 
of taking that t-shirt off. Opening the chest. Good. One more here. Cross up and over and open. Good. We're going to go the other way. Up and over and cross. Good. Up and over. Open the chest and cross. Good. Again. Up and over and cross. Over and cross. Okay, last thing. We're going to reach up towards the ceiling as far as we can reach. And then here you're going to drop the arms. Let them be as heavy as you can. So let them swing. Good. And again, reach up as far as you can. Touch the ceiling. Wiggle those fingers. And drop. Let them be as floppy as you can. Nice and floppy. As if you had something at the end of a string and it's just moving. Again, reach, reach the ceiling and drop. Good. And we come back together. Excellent. Thank you everybody for joining us today for week one of Move with Shelly, level um, two. So this is our more advanced class. Um, hopefully that was okay for everybody and um, I didn't scare anybody off. Uh, I'm just gonna come a little bit closer so I can see all of you. Okay, um, so do we have any questions about anything? Um, did everyone hate the class? <laughs> I hope you had a good workout um, and um, hopefully that wasn't too challenging and it wasn't too easy either. So like I mentioned before, we do have our email address at the top of the chat box. So you can email us if you like, um, if you have any comments, questions about anything, um, the email is info at parkinson.bc.ca um, or you can email me personally, which is syu at parkinson.bc.ca. So thank you everybody for joining us. Um, if you did have any questions, feel free to put it on the chat box. We would love to hear from you. Uh, maybe there's something you want to see more of, something you want to see um, less of. But the idea of this is hopefully the workout should be challenging enough for you to break out a sweat, but not so hard that it scares you off exercise because we definitely don't want that either. Um, and, and it sometimes takes a couple of classes for you to kind of adjust and figure out what your body likes and what your body doesn't. Um, because a lot of the times in the class, we always say um, you want to do 80% of your efforts, whatever that means to you. So everybody, regardless of your physical ability, should be having a good workout if you think about that 80% exertion the whole time. Right? Okay, good. I see some great comments. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, if anybody had any questions about anything, feel free to type it out or you can email us as well. Um, okay, so the class is recorded. So if anybody um, wants to revisit the class at a different time, you can absolutely do that. So after today's class, we will be putting it up on our website and on YouTube. So you can feel free to do it again if you like. But other than that, we will see you next week. Same time, same place, same narrow living room. <laughs> and um, we'll do our second class of Move with Shelly. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We would love to hear your feedback. So please email us and let us know any um, compliments or any criticisms. We want to hear it all. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody for joining us and I will see you next week.